Good morning, sir. If you could, please tell us your name and spell your last name and tell us your organization. Sure. Hi, my name is Dr. Mario Mendoza, M-E-N-D-O-Z-A. I'm working closely with Doctors for Camp Closure. I'm the founder of LifeOnDocumented.org. I'm an anesthesiologist, and I quit my job to drive that NPO. Okay, and so this is day three of the protest for Doctors for Closed Camps. Tell us what happened yesterday in Chula Vista. So yesterday, uh, we elevated or really continued on our action and our ask. And what's the ask of CBP this week from us, from Doctors for Camp Closure? And the ask is this, to let us in to administer passive medical treatment, and that is in the form of flu vaccination, and vaccinating all the folks at the at detention centers that are at risk for the flu in these close quarters. We can administer the flu vax to about 100 people in about 20 to 30 minutes with the healthcare providers that we have that are licensed in the state of California cost effective because they've been paid for. It's time effective. We can do it in less than uh, 30 minutes, like I mentioned. And CBP simply won't let us do that. This right. is preventable sickness and preventable death. So this has been your third day of trying to get in to uh, treat the immigrants. And what happened yesterday in Chula Vista? So yesterday, after we had previously sent letters, emails, with no response to, to CBP and to other stakeholders, to Capitol Hill, to uh, different states by form of letters signed by different physicians, including me. There's no response to this request. And so we elevated this action this week by being here yesterday. We blocked two driveways at CBP offices in Chula Vista. And we were told that one of those driveways, that this would be now, it was an unlawful gathering and that it was, we were going to be arrested in five minutes, in 10 minutes. They gave us five and 10 minute warnings told us to leave, otherwise we'd be arrested. Because this is leading to preventable death, as physicians, we cannot let this happen anymore and stay silent. So and this is why we decided to stay there. So were you and others arrested? I was arrested as a part of a group of six. Four of the six are physicians. I'm not currently practicing because I'm with my nonprofit, but I am an anesthesiologist that's trained. And so we decided to take the risk of arrest. We were arrested. We were not treated badly, but we did receive fines at the federal level, and we do have to show up in court. If we don't show up, there'll be warrants out for our arrest. As physicians, we simply want to treat in the name of humanity and health by giving flu vaccination. Okay, so today we're at the uh, border, and you've had a large group gather, and you've uh, put names on the uh, sidewalks of people that have died from the flu. Absolutely, and so... so have you been warned by the uh, feds again? As, as far as I know, we have not been warned, but the leadership from Doctors for Camp Closure will be going to Chula Vista to CBP, meeting with leadership there later today to ask about next steps and about any policy discussion, any policy changes in terms of administering the flu. What we've heard up until now from CBP is that it is against their policy in terms of being on paper and infrastructure that they don't have the structure to administer the flu vax. And I can tell you all it takes is an alcohol wipe, a consent, a deltoid or quad muscle, and about 30 seconds. Okay. It's that simple. Sir, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Before they see it, 
on Twitter. <laughs>